Hey guys, this is Ken, a product specialist down here at Camping World of Asheville. And I'm really excited to do a video tour of this brand new product that we have down here for 2024. This is called a Campsite Reserve. It is put out by Forest River. It features the new slick aluminum, and we'll go into that here in a minute. But for right now, let's take a tour of the inside of this great camper. Now the 20AK is the perfect couples camper and I'm going to show you why right up here at the front. Look at this nice big king size bed. Yes, this is a king size bed and it has a king size foot locker right up underneath as well. So an amazingly large area up here at the front. We'll start over here and I'll go through. Look at this. You got one two, three overhead cabinets right up here. And I really like how they've done the uh, two-tone on the wood, makes it look real nice. And then of course, a wardrobe space right here and more cabinetry down here. And then back here across the back, you've got a little, got a little shelf back here for your reading. You got actually two little shelves right here you do have your USB port back here and you have your uh, GFI outlets in case you need a CPAP machine. Check out these little blue reading lights right here. So cool. And then over here on this side, you actually have a surge protected outlet right here. Just in case if you do have a CPAP machine, you don't want anything to happen to that. And this one also has USB charging ports that are surge protected. So very nice up here in the front. And of course, you've got two windows across from each other that give you a beautiful cross breeze, a nice, beautiful view. And these windows have nice wooden accents right across the top. You'll probably see it better on this side. The beautiful wood accents right across the top. Just an amazing little space up front. Just to the right of your bedroom, you have this nice U-shaped dinette. I really like the U-shaped dinette because you can get four people comfortably around this table. Plenty of room for cards. You can sit back here in the corner if you want to. There's a TV uh, place right here so you can watch TV from bed or you can get over here in the corner of your U-shaped dinette and watch the TV over that way. Put your feet up if you want to. Or actually this guy folds down to here and it becomes a day bed. You could set it up like a day bed or if you needed more sleeping space, if you had some visitors, you can do that. Also what I really like about this dinette are these massive let me tell you these are really big pull out drawers that go through the entire bottom look how big that drawer is there's none of this having to lift up the cushions anymore you can just put your stuff in the drawer and it has a little lip on it so it doesn't come out during transit both sides have this and this is a really big deal. I think this is a really neat design thing to have these big slide out drawers right here. So you don't have to go fumbling with all the cushions. Now I'm going to take you step by step through this amazing kitchen area. And I'm actually going to start back here in the back because right here at the little breakfast bar that you have here where you can put up a little stool and see out these huge windows. I love these massive square windows. It lets in so much light, even with the awning out, it lets in so much light, but they have really, really tried to use the space wisely. So you've got these three huge cabinets right down here under the bar and in the uh, window. All three of these cabinets together are like the size of a pantry. Just an amazing way that they use the space here. 
So you've got a 3i uh, stove here that runs off your LP gas in the front, a little gas black splash right here. Oh, look at those nice blue lights. And then of course here, instead of just having an oven, we're gonna give you a convection oven and a microwave, which also saves space. You don't need a microwave and an oven. Why don't we just put them together? How smart is that? Of course, another very large window here at the sink area. Some more very deep cabinets right here, or drawers, excuse me, drawers. Two very deep drawers right there. This beautiful window here. And now you've got this sink, your drying rack on the sink. You've got a bamboo cutting board that comes with the sink. And you have a stainless steel sink, a nice big, I guess they call this the farm style sink when it's all big rectangular like that. And a big gooseneck faucet right here so you can get your pots and pans up under that. Now, the one thing I did not mention in this really nice and it's l-shaped too that adds a lot of space up here because you've got this whole corner back here for your coffee machine for your toaster oven whatever other appliances that you need or you could put the appliances along here because there's gfi outlets all the way down the line how about that and of course if you like hanging stuff look at this there's one two three four, five, six, seven hanging hooks right here at these big windows. You can hang plants, hang dish towels. You could even, I've even heard some people say they want to hang baskets from these, but it gives you some extra ideas for where you can store stuff. So I think this, this whole thing is so well thought out and I still haven't even shown you there's a huge this entire side right here under the sink is one whole cabinet as well so lots and lots of options here in the kitchen a couple of more things that I need to show you about the kitchen right here there is an actual garbage can cabinet right next to the front door on the opposite side of the sink there You've got this extra bar up here that doesn't come in a whole lot of campers. That's new that I've seen. Look here. There's a little place for shoes. Why don't we stack our shoes all up in there? And check out that rustic looking barn wood floor. How amazing is that floor? And then of course I'm gonna show you that cabinet one more time that's next to the sink. See how big that is? There's those two drawers that you couldn't see very well. And now I'm going to go, oh, I want to show you the Max Air Fan right here that is over the kitchen to get out any uh, thing that burns or anything like that. Don't want to set off the fire alarm. Of course, back here, I already mentioned all those cabinets on the ground here, the three there. But if that's not enough, hey, why don't we just put one more over here in the corner with two shelves. Look how deep those are. And then, of course check out the size of this refrigerator this is the largest refrigerator i've seen in a 20 foot camper so it's a double-sided 10 cubic foot refrigerator with this massive pull-out freezer on the bottom and it's cold feel it oh my goodness it's already cold check that out you know why it's cold because it's been running off that battery up front so very nice 12 volt refrigerator there now let's go in here and check out the bathroom right quick oh wow look at this so you have your uh toilet right there you've got a nice beautiful sink with another one of those very large cabinets right up under there how about that and then of course you have, oh, this is really neat, tankless hot water, always hot water on demand. You've got your place to hang your towels. 
Of course, another Max Air fan. That's really nice. And then, ooh, who's that ugly guy? Get him out of there. Let's see. There's your medicine cabinet right there. And then I'm going to turn over here to the rectangular spaced uh, residential shower with a skylight over the top. And check this out. Look at that shower head. I mean, we're talking about a rainmaker right there. How about that? You have your uh, heat and air controls right here. So it is a air conditioner up on the roof, but you don't have to sit there and fiddle with controls. It's all right here. Check this out. This is really neat. This is a wireless media receiver. So whatever you have on your phone or whatever, you can listen to it because you've got speakers right up here in the ceiling. How about that? And another one right over here. And of course, I showed you the TV and there's the hookups for the TV right there. And you've got your hookup right there on the wall. Back outside up front, I just absolutely love those graphics that are right there on the front of this amazing travel trailer. You got two 20 pound gas tanks right there. You got your power tongue jack. How about that up and down power tongue jack. And then this guy is built on what's called the X9 frame. That frame is made by the Lippard Company, uh, which is Lippard Engineering. So Forest River and Lippard got together on putting this camper together. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a little while. But let's go down the campsite here and show you all the amazing stuff. Look at the size of that door. It's got a huge oversized door to your indoor store, your pass-through storage up front. And the reason why they do that is so you can put things on these hooks right here, or you can just have more room to get up under there. How about that? And it's a very big pass-through storage too. Plus you have you a solar controller right here that's gonna be constantly, uh, constantly uh, trickle charging your battery. So that's why that refrigerator was cold and the lights are working out here because it has solar panel. And look at that huge awning. It's so big it goes over the next camper beside it. It's got LED lights up underneath. Just an amazing awning to keep you out of the sun or out of the rain. I really like the solid glass tinted door. How about that? Got your handrail right there. Solid steps. Of course, those mountain graphics. Who doesn't want mountains on their camper? The other thing I'd like to point out is you got the speakers on the outside as well, marine grade speakers. Your hookup for cable, more power outside if you need to. There's a place to put your television. But let me back up. Look at those windows. There's two massive windows right there. Another window on the other side of your bedroom here. Let me put this down right quick so you can see it. And not only are they tinted, they're mirrored as well. You cannot see, I mean, you can see that little light through there, but the nice mirror tinting that they put on these windows, you cannot see inside of your camper. How about that? Check out those beautiful aluminum wheels i really like those and make it look really nice and again there is that tankless hot water heater now let me show you the other the lippard quick drop jacks you pull a pin it drops down you give it one crank now back here in the back check that out it comes with the backup camera all of these other models around here have backup camera prep, but no, these guys decided to go ahead and put that camera on there. How about that? And then of course you've got a place to clip in your ladder so you can, it's got a totally walkable roof. Now, let me come around to the non-camp side and show you what we got on this side. Another one of those square tinted windows mirrored tinted windows in the slide here let me just show you you got your outdoor shower you got some extra light out here as well well it didn't turn on you know why because it turns on from the inside as well 
So you got to have the plug on from the inside. That way you can turn it on and walk around and you'll always have light out here. There's your water connections, your black water flush tank. Of course, it's 30 amp service. There's your sewer outlet. Another shot of those amazingly just beautiful aluminum wheels. There's the other mirrored window in the bedroom up front. And of course, the second side of that pass-through storage. There we go, you can see all the way through. Guys, if you haven't seen a campsite reserve, you've got to come down and check them out. We have four different models. All of them are on that X9 Lippard special chassis on the bottom, specially engineered by Lippard. It is just an amazing camper, and I really think you need to come down and take a tour of, of all four models. It's really a great camper. So please, why don't you come down here, see me, Ken, at Camping World, especially since we got this beautiful view here from our top lot. You're looking at Mount Pisgah right there. The sun is out. The flowers are blooming. It's time to get out and get camping. So come on down here and see me, Ken, at Camping World of Asheville.